Okay, here is another practice problem that I wrote. Uh, and this, I created this a couple years ago when I was teaching uh, physics during the summer. And uh, just as a side backstory, because it makes things better, right? If they have a story, uh, you know, this is, I live in Louisiana and you pretty much have to mow the lawn every three or four days. So I was getting tired of mowing the lawn. Um, and so I made a problem about the lawnmower. So here's my lawnmower. I'm, I go home and mow the lawn. And uh, the lawnmower has a mass of 30 kilograms. And there's a coefficient of friction of 0.2 in between the wheels and the grass. This is actually, I think, there might be, this might be an unsolvable problem. I can't remember. I do remember writing this. So the, if, let's say there's co kinetic friction. It's not actually kinetic friction um, because the wheels are rolling, but I think it's still a valid thing. The handle is inclined 50 degrees above the horizontal. Uh, and the total length I need to mow is 650 meters. So delta R is 650. That's actually pretty far. But I think I, I, think I might have actually measured that in real life. So how much work will it require? So the first thing is I want to move this mower at a constant speed. So uh, I have here the gravitational force, mg. I have the normal force, n. Actually, it's going to be greater than mg, right? Because I'm also pushing down with some force, f. And then I have the backwards pushing frictional force. Yeah, now that's why this is a hard problem. Okay, so let's let's skip over here. Uh, and let's, I need to first find out the magnitude of the force I need to push with in order to calculate the work done. Okay, so let's say uh, the following, F net X equals zero, and that's going to be equal to the component of this force uh, in the negative X direction and friction in the positive X direction. So I'm going to get F friction minus the force I push with times cosine of 50. So you see here, that's my horizontal component of the force pushing, and that's the backwards pushing friction force, and they have to be the same. Uh, so that's one equation. And now for the y direction, I get, again, it's not accelerating the y direction, so I have 0, and then I have equals n minus f sine 50. Now I need the vertical component. That's, I'm actually pushing down on the lawnmower. And then that's going to be minus mg. Okay, so uh, I can re I can use my friction model. F friction is equal to mu k times n. I can put that in over here. I get mu k times n equals F cosine 50. So now I need to solve. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is let's solve this one for n and plug it in down here. And then I can solve for F. So this is going to be n equals f sine 50 plus mg. So if I put that in here, I get mu k times f sine 50 plus mu k times mg equals f cosine 50. OK, so now I'm going to subtract this from both sides and factor out the f, so I get mu k mg equals f times cosine of 50 minus mu k sine of 50. So f is going to be equal to mu sub k mg over cosine 50 minus mu k sine of 50. Now let's put in my numbers got my paper crooked. I don't like to get the paper crooked. Okay, so I had uh, mu k was 0.2. Uh, the mass was 30. G is 9.8. Then I have the cosine of 50 minus 0.2 times the sine of 50. If I put that in my calculator, let's do that. Okay, so 0.2 30 times, 9.8 times, and now I need to calculate this thing. So I'm going to say 50 cosine, and now I need to do this, 0.2 enter, sine of 50, 50 sine times, and then I'm going to subtract those, 
and then I'm going to I'm going to divide this this whole stuff by that. So divide, and I get 120.1 newtons. We are not done. We are not done, right? Because now I need to calculate the work. Work is F delta R cosine theta. So now I know F delta R was 650 meters and theta is going to be 50 degrees. So this is going to be 120.1 times 650 times cosine of 50. Okay, so I already have 120 in my calculator. So now I just need to say uh, time, multiply by 650. So 650 times. Oh, I lost battery. Okay, back on. Okay, so let's say 120.1 enter 650 times. And then what was the other thing? Oh, cosine of 50. So 50 uh, trig cosine times and I get uh, 50,000 joules so 55 let's just say 5 times 10 to the fourth which you know that seems like a lot but it's actually not that much energy um, if you can if you want it to be fun you can convert this to calories to food calories uh, just to see how many food calories that would be and you could say you know a candy bar is 200 food calories not to be confused with the chemistry calories. There's two calories. Um, yeah, I don't know why they they have two, but it's very confusing. So, okay, um, that's that. There you go.